Howdy, this is Mackenzie Franklin from Side Game LLC here in Colorado Springs, Colorado. Today we're going to be organizing Throw Throw Burrito and Throw Throw Avocado, designed by Brian Spence, Matthew Inman, and Ellen Lee, and published by Exploding Kittens. This is a fully sleeved copy of the game that's organized to get gameplay started as soon as possible and to store Throw Throw Burrito and Throw Throw Avocado into a single box so that you're ready for the combo game at any time. If you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please make sure that you do. It is the best way to help us grow. Let's get started organizing Throw Throw Burrito and Throw Throw Avocado. Before we begin, I do want to mention that we use the Throw Throw Avocado box here. That's because it's just slightly bigger than the Throw Throw Burrito box, so it's going to store everything a lot nicer and nothing is going to be squished or compressed to fit inside. So use the Throw Throw Avocado box to store both games at once. It even maintains the little window here with a You Throw These tag for the burritos. So people are pretty excited when they see it and say, ooh, let's grab this game. Let's lift off the lid and you'll see that we have the game divided into two sections. Let's start off with the bottom section here where we have all of the components for Throw Throw Avocado. We have the rule book for the game, the avocados themselves. You'll put them on top of each other like so, so that they fit nicely into that area here. And then you'll have the Fear Me token to track that if you've won your first game, of throw throw avocado. Up next, we use these Dollar Tree containers. You get them 10 for a buck. You simply lift the lid off and put it under there, put it in the center of the table. Makes for a great dish where you can pull out your components. You're gonna put all of your avocado boo-boos in here and then place them in the center of the table. So here are all of those avocado boo-boos in their storage container. To the right of the avocado boo-boos, you'll have all of the cards required to play the Throw Throw Avocado version of the game. Since you'll be handling the cards pretty frequently, and it's a pretty hectic game, we recommend using the standard size Ultra Pro Deck Protector Sleeve for your copy. These are the non-clear versions, because the clear ones are a little bit more fragile. The ones with colored backs are going to be a little bit more durable for actual play. And the last bit I want to mention is this divider that we use to separate the Throw Throw Burrito and Throw Throw Avocado. This is actually a box from the Dinosaur World expansions. We just repurposed it here because it does fit nicely into there. But the Throw Throw Burrito and Throw Throw Avocado packaging can also be used just as well. There's a lot of extra packaging that we'll be tossing and recycling, but you can use those to create makeshift walls in order to separate your two different sections here. So that'll just go nicely into here. It'll serve as a card tray as well as some organizational support. We've got a silica gel packet in here for freshness, and that brings us to our top section here, which has all of our Throw Throw Burrito components, starting off with our two soft burritos. So cute. We'll have our Throw Throw Burrito Fear Me badge, as well as the Throw Throw Burrito rules. You'll have all your cards required to play the Throw Throw Burrito version of the game. And then another Dollar Tree container that's going to contain all of your burrito bruises. Just put that into the center of the table, like the avocado boo-boos. And that brings us to our Do Not Open bag. This is for the crossover content for Throw Throw Avocado and Throw Throw Burrito. We'll be using both sets of the soft toys. You can use this in order to compare find the games into one insane experience. For this one, we have it put into a simple plastic bag with the original packaging on top, just to notify that this is only for that combo game because it does not fit back into the envelope with sleeved cards. Inside the plastic bag, you'll have the reminder for do not open until you're ready for a combo game, all your rules for this new crossover game of burritos and avocados, and then all of your new battle cards that are specifically for avocado and burrito. You'll use just one of the original sets of cards from Throw Throw Burrito, take out all of those battle cards, and then put these new ones in. And that's everything in the combined box for Throw Throw Burrito and Throw Throw Avocado. Let's go ahead and pack it up. First, we'll start off by sliding in that box into this bottom right corner for the avocado section, and then placing all of our avocado cards, our container that's going to hold our avocado boo-boos, and then our Fear Me token. We'll put in the avocados so that they're combined like so, and just place them in this open area. We'll put our rule book on top of that, and then tuck our silica gel packet into this side here. And moving on to the Throw Throw Burrito section, we'll put the combo game on top, our Fear Me badge for the burrito. All of the Throw Throw Burrito cards, as well as the Burrito Bruises, slid into this top right section. We'll then place the Throw Throw Burrito rule book, and then our two super cute, super soft burritos here. And that's organizing Throw Throw Burrito and Throw Throw Avocado. If you have any questions about what you saw here, please let me know down in the comments below. And if you're looking for a link to any of the things I talked about in this video, please look in the description. How do you organize your copy of Throw Throw Burrito and Throw Throw Avocado? Have you played both games? Which one do you prefer? Do you like the combo game, or do you prefer one or the other. What's your favorite artwork in the game? We'd love to hear what you think. But thank you so much for watching. Side Game Strong.